it was a very, very, very deep rabbit hole. something I've never ever ever done before I have hatching chicks that were sent to me by the mail I want really dark Moran eggs I want eights or more there's no breeder around here with them so you have to improvise and you have to go on a hunt these days all the hunts are on the internet I've been searching for a few years I used to have some Morans right here and they were a good six to eight um, sometimes they were really an eight this is when they first were starting to hatch and that was probably four or five years ago come to find out The bottom of this post all about dry hatching and it's gonna try to experience it with these beautiful eggs in this picture I just put a little comment I put hey you're gonna love dry hatching something to that effect like I love dry hatching it's my favorite it's all I do it's my thing that person sent me back a message that said holy goodness you are the video that I watch on YouTube about dry hatching now this person lives in New York like how cool is that you guys that video link is right here by the way if you want to watch without a dry hatch it's just right here so that is smaller than a small world that is meant to be god made our paths cross somehow we started striking up a friendship and conversation and she let me in on her little secret of wonderfulness on where she got her eggs so she was happy to share with me where she got those most beautiful eggs and hurried up and ordered my eggs and here they are Whenever I did order these eggs online, I did ask them if they could send me pictures of the eggs and also of the chickens. So they said, well, I just posted it on our Facebook page a couple days ago. I went back. Thank you. They're beautiful. Um, is there any way that you could send me a picture of my actual eggs that you're putting into the box? And she said, yeah, of course, no problem. So I got this picture right here. Holy Jesus. Do you see that? Look at this. That is the most dark eggs that I've been searching for and that I think I've ever really seen. Let's get them opened up. Drum roll, please, drum roll. I'm so excited. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Nervous in a good way. Like nervous, like nervous. I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay, okay. Ready? I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna open them. Are we ready to open them? Are we ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at these eggs. Oh my goodness. Look at these eggs. Push them out. So let's open the second set of 14 eggs. Let's get these open. These are so beautiful. Look at these dark colors. Let's get these in the egg tray and in the GQF. Let's go. to grab it and it like cut right in half and it's fertile so I'm gonna leave this egg here and I'm just gonna continue to try to get these out that one must have had a weak part in it I'm really trying to be gentle with them okay see see what's happened they're already, they're broken. They're broken halfway around. So when I just grab that, 
you can see that it's already broken all the way around as if it was dropped or smashed. Look, that I didn't do because my hands are not there. See that? That makes me so sad. It was broken like that from shipping. That answers why that other one broke. I'm a nervous wreck over here. Two eggs out of 28 is not bad, but it's still making me sick about it. So let's put these in. I have the GQF on manual, even though it doesn't look like it's straight. It really is pretty darn straight. So we're gonna slide these in here. And that's it. That was scary. Did you see how it just like popped to the next episode? That was crazy. Okay, everybody, I'm about to close this and start our dry hatch on these really dark black copper morans that I got by mail order, eggs by mail order. I still can't believe I did it. So pray, keep your fingers crossed. Don't give me luck, give me blessings that these hatch and they're happy, healthy hens and roosters and that it'll start helping my rainbow hatching rabbit hole that I'm going down. But thank Everything's good in the head. Yep. Right now it's time for the black copper marans. They also are getting a 20% pellet. Everyone is settled in now. They are happy, they're healthy, and they're doing great. As you can see here, and I could not be happier with the results. Thank you. 
So last night I put all the chickens back in their breeder pens. But these babies are beautiful. They're so shiny and silky and see that green and blue sheen? Yes, you're beautiful.